everyone. So today I wanted to try something. Um, I got the idea when I, I was uh, speaking over uh, Skype with one of my friends. Uh, he was saying that one of his favorite pour was when uh, I poured on the on the canvas on the other canvas, and I was thinking of a way of doing that and getting details. Uh, but not pouring on the canvas on another, another canvas. So what I came up with was a, a, you know, just a bottle. I cut the bottom out and I think those lines are going to create some nice um, details as the paint flows off the bottle. Um, not sure. Uh, we'll try it and we'll see. So. I'm going to start by just putting a coat of uh, base color and then I will pour all the other colors on top of the bottle until it flows off and uh, we'll see what the result is. I will put the colors I've used in the description as usual and uh, I mix them the usual way. 50-50, um, GAC 800 and uh, paint for the heavy body, soft body, fluid acrylics. Uh, yeah, I think I, I named them all. Uh, I add between 10 and 25% water depending on the consistency of the paint uh, I start with and uh, the consistency it has after I add the medium. Um, for the inks and high floor acrylic, I do one part ink, 10 part medium, and about 5% water. Not that much water, they do not need water. Uh, they're already quite liquid, but uh, I find that the wa water helps uh, the flow and uh, I just like it. <laughs> I like the texture a lot uh, with water, so I had water. It's my personal preference. If you prefer not to, uh, then you should not. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I will zoom you in and uh, get started with that. Okay, so I'll remove that and start by just pouring a base coat around. I will use a painting knife to um, spread it around. I do not want a heavy coat, just a, a bit of paint so that other paints flow more easily. Here we go. Now my bottle. Oops. There we go. Maybe a little more center. Yeah, I think that's good. <clears throat> and now I start pouring. Just a little bit at once. I feel like I'm not quite level again. I quite like what it looks like on the bottle too. I 
I'm going to do is flip it around. And we'll see if that helps my uh, level problem. It might just be the bubble that's cut crooked and it looks like that's what it is. Let's mix up a bit uh, the colors. And it looks like it's even worse that way, so... Okay, so that pretty much worked out uh, as I expected. I think a bottle with um, more of a depth to the creases would work better uh, and I'll have to pay attention to uh, how I cut it so it's perfectly leveled. But uh, that's uh, pretty much what I thought would happen. Um, basically, now I am debating uh, should I remove the middle part or no. When I'll remove it, all the paint will go in the middle. Uh, I just hope it won't um, destroy the details, but yeah, let's do this. Ooh, and dripped it. Yeah, it's working out nicely. Really happy with how it turned out, really. Um, I think with the uh, bow, with uh, maybe like kind of, um, well, bigger crease uh, would work even better. Uh, I'll have to revisit this for sure. Um, level 2. Uh, I really think that's my bowl that was unleveled and not the actual canvas because I, I worked hard, hard at making my canvas leveled. Um, and the paint seems to flow a bit evenly on both sides, just a bit more on that side, but that's normal. More paint went on that side. Um, I love the edges too. Uh, quite happy with how they came out. I'll just help the paint flow over the corner here. Otherwise it will look weird. But really, it's nice. It's really nice. Uh, there will be bit of a metallic touch to this painting as well. I put, uh, I went all in. I think the only color I wouldn't put in um, next time is the green. Uh, but the rest of the colors were really, really uh, pretty together. The green just is too dark, I think. It's not as uh, uh, flashy enough. But, um, well, I'll know that for next time, you know? Those things you learn when you met, uh, make uh, happy little accidents. It's nothing to be worried about. Uh, I love um, the kind of lines, well, in between the separation, the, the lines here in the blue and the yellow. 
um, kind of looks like a, a flower and that's what I wanted so I'm happy with it I really like it really like the edge here it's nice I hope it stays that way it dries that way and uh, the drips around my canvas are pretty amazing as well probably keep them and make a uh, We'll see what I make with them. Yeah. I'll have to pop my bubbles as well. Uh, that will take a while. There seem to be a lot of bubbles. But I think my paints didn't rest enough. Uh, but yeah. We're all very nice painting. And we're back. Definitely, I'll have to try this again. Uh, I figured out which kind of ball I want to try that with and uh, it will come in the, one of my next videos uh, but yep without the green <laughs> and maybe something monochrome I don't know uh, like different shades of uh, one single color Maybe different shades of one single fluorescent colors, uh, color, uh, so we can see it under the black light, like how much it shines with uh, white added or black added. Uh, someone gave me that idea in the comment. So uh, the monochrome with fluorescent color. I think I'll try this with that, and I think it's going to be just really cool. Mm. But I do like the colorful paintings. I just really don't like the green in that one, but the result overall is quite nice. Uh, really, really happy. Even if I don't like the green. <laughs> and, uh, yep. Something I have to revisit for sure. And, uh, really happy. So. On that note, thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a great day, make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!